Yeah. Not rocking cats. Yo. Whoop, I have the wrong. What the heck? Wrong screen there. <laughs> well, it was more the side of my head, I think. Yeah, very fancy. It's just a crossfade, right? I do. I might. I have one or two things that might be worth showing briefly uh, up close a little bit, so we'll see. I wanted to have it available. Okay. Ooh. Let me just make sure this looks okay. Uh, it's more just something I just made to show a, a cartridge or two, possibly. So. Alright. Uh, let's see. Spinny head. Oh yeah, spinny heads. All right, well, anyway, I was just going to start with Berserk, because this is one of the most basic games you can get. Um, one of the most common games in the Atari. Um, yeah, let's start it up. Uh-oh. And my controls are already not working. That's not a good sign. Hmm... I do upload mine immediately after streaming, yes. <laughs> Not immediately, usually the next day. What is... I literally tested this ten minutes ago and it was working. What? What is happening? Hi, Bobby. I am so confused. Did I do two player? I don't think I did. That was all about. Um, how many Atari games have buckets? That is a good, good question, of which I do not have the immediate answer. I guess the first question would be, do any Atari games have buckets? I am having controller problems. Hmm, hope that's the controller and not my system. Yeah, I keep sticking. Yes, that's why, because they don't have buckets. That's the key problem with most Atari games, is the lack of buckets. All right. Yeah, left keeps not working. That might be the joystick. Hey, Red Spade. This is Berserk. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try switching it. My controller might be bad. Let's try this. Pontificate about Skittles. Hmm. Skittles are the greatest invention of the 20th century. There, I said it. Is that helpful? Yeah, I think my, that controller is just going out. Uh, yeah, because this seems much better. Right, great. I'd much rather my $3 controller break than my expensive system here. Well, it's not that expensive. It's probably... Atari 7 is still not too expensive, actually. Uh, this is, I'm playing on a 7800, not a 2600. My 2600's controller ports blew out, unfortunately. Ooh. 
I don't have the Skittles game. Maybe I'll look into that, though. Whoa. You got- you rad robots should stop shooting me. It's not cool. Darkened Sky was actually pretty good. Is that, is that the name of the Skittles game? Alright, I can do that. I don't know, by the way. This is, uh, these are robots I'm fighting. Um. Yes, evil robots. And I, I guess I'm not playing with Otto. Maybe there's an, a robot named Otto that appears after enough time. I must not be playing on the mode with Otto. It looks like a smiley face. Alright. Yeah, I guess I, I'm not playing with him. Alright. This is actually one of the more famous Atari games for another reason, because it killed two players, possibly three, depending on who you talk to. This is the first known fatality in a video game with Berserk. For those not who have never heard this. Guy had a heart attack while playing it. That's exciting. There's, there's two, um, one with strong evidence, one, and the other two are basically rumors. And, and, it, and it's more like they were very excited about playing the game, and they already had, you know, a heart condition or whatever, so it's, you know, the game's not, like, really killing anybody, but makes a good headline. <laughs> And the arcade version of this, the robots talk to you, and the graphics are way better, but the, the, the arcade version is actually pretty good on its own. Ah, okay. I'll look at it. The story is, um, robots have been wiping out humanity, and you're trying to escape them, I think? Kind of like the Terminator? Although, actually, um, this game predates the Terminator by two years, so th there's that, I guess. Um, it's like in the future, a futuristic sci-fi, and you're trying to escape from these robots who have captured humanity or something. I know they, they talk and are like, human escaping or something, human detected in the arcade version. There's a little bit of a story, you know, not much. Also, one funny thing, you can probably see how there's, like, I don't have a neck. And, uh, bullets can actually go through that little gap. It's hard to do, but they will go right through your neck, as if you didn't exist. Huh. That's an interest. that sounds interesting, Bobby. I'm gonna try to see what the other modes are in this game. Wait, why is that? Reset. Let's try two. What is two? I don't know what two does. I wanna bring auto in, because auto uses me. There's auto. Yeah, face. Ah. Auto might not show up correctly on the stream, actually. Is he showing up? I'm curious now. Ooh, the stream is not looking right for me. Hang on. I'm, about to, I'm gonna die here, but it's okay. What is happening? The stream is not showing up for me. Okay, oh, there we go. Oh, auto does show up good, but I disappear when auto's on, is that right? <laughs> oh, the problems of 30p streaming instead of 60p. Ah. Hey, Queso, been a while. How are you? Do, 
do do I'm playing Atari games. Or attempting to. And I gotta escape from auto. Yep. Alright. Right. The big thing though is you just can't dawdle with auto on this scene, because he appears after 15 seconds, something like that. Yay, one up. I do like how dumb uh, the enemies are. How they just run straight into a wall. And it kills them. Yep. Ah. Ah. They're robots that are trying to kill me. That's, that's the gist of the storyline. And they are unable to shoot diagonally, which is helpful. They're evil robots out to enslave or murder humanity, something like that. Yeah. As they do. Well, I think that you get points when they kill themselves. time because Otto's gonna appear. Oh no, Otto's coming. Yeah, one up. Uh. Yeah, this is 1980, by the way, so four years before the Terminator. There you go, ahead of its time. Zoom. It's Otto as in the German name of Otto. I don't know why. I'm assuming that's a pun on automatic, yes, but I don't actually know that. You might be right. So, whoop. I died. Alright. What are the other variants? I don't... What's three? There's ten variants of the game, but I don't know what they are, unfortunately. A lot of Atari games, you hit select, and it'll pick, it'll alter the game in some specific way. The instructions would tell you, but I don't have the instructions, so I don't know. Eh. Oh, I didn't make it. It's trying to let it go through my neck. <laughs> Kill everybody. This doesn't seem any different than two. Oof. Ooh, another one up. Whoa. All right. Good thing those robots just like killing themselves. That really helps. Let me go through the other options. Let's see if they show anything interesting. Four is this. What's different about this? Again, that doesn't seem any different. This is ver mode four. Yeah. There's a difference here. I don't know what it is. Hmm. No clue. mode, let's just see if I can tell any difference again. There's bound to be some difference. No clue what it is. Not me. Maybe the speed of the bullets, actually? Or the size of the bullets? Of the enemy bullets? I don't know. Hmm. 
Well, anyway, um, that's berserk. <laughs> Probably get the idea. Oh, there's Otto. Run away from the smiley face. Who is invincible? You cannot kill him. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Um, what to do next? <sighs> Uh, I don't have the Halloween Atari game. It's actually pretty expensive. It's like $100. Because I would love to get it. I'd love to get the Halloween and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre games. But too expensive, man. <laughs> but I did say... Uh, that I would... I did say that I would do a... Um, well, you asked for it, Red Spade. All right. There you go. It's got the theme music and everything, though. What's the problem? It says it's there. Oh, it's dis it, the bot client disconnected. What is it? Well, it's it said it was disconnected. I don't know why it was working earlier. I'm relaunching it. But in the meantime, you can watch the ma the majesty of ET here. <laughs> All right, I'm relaunching the chat bot. Let's see if it figures itself out here. That figures, Mr. Beard. I but thanks. Let's see if I can get this. Um, all right, well. Yep. All right, well, apparently the bot needs to think for a minute while it loads. Let's see if I can. Parts from my radio here. There we go. It is probably three kids in a trench coat. Nope. Not there. Nope. Nope. part of my, my, uh, oh, I already have this part, I guess. Oh, it's the flower. How nice. Zip. It's a doctor. Get away from me. Up. Oh, what's this one? Another part of my radio. I got a phone home. You know how it is when you're ET. Yep. Ugh. 
Ugh. It gives me a headache. It is pretty bad. It's not honestly, it's not the absolute worst game ever made, but it's pretty bad. Especially this whole thing where you can eat. You have to be real careful to not immediately fall back into the pit. Why am I not signed in here? I don't know what he says, actually. to give me a sec here my twitch account for my bot apparently broke one sec One queso for dinner? going on with my bot it won't it won't log in apparently my bot broke hmm yeah you're right I just I don't understand why everything with twitch and with streaming breaks on its own when you change nothing on a regular basis. Amazing. That's fine. Whatever. What abs? All right. What am I doing here? I'm gonna actually die. It looks like. That's something. Zip. Nope. Oh, it's a flower. What does that do? Vom, vom. It's flat. Oh. And I can't fly anymore, so I guess I have to just stay here until I die. I'm not allowed to leave. Uh, the numbers at the bottom are your time, basically. I'm about to lose, is what that means. There, I died. Elliot's like, oh no, so there's Elliot. Oh, he ate me, I guess. Yeah. 
Or Elliot helped me, I guess. Ugh. Yeah. So this is this is the entire game, by the way, is you just wander into these pits and you're trying to get enough parts for your phone thing. And then uh, when you get enough of them, uh, you can phone home and then you end. It's like, ooh, I'll help. And you lose a piece when that happens, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. That's probably obvious at this point, but... That's E.T. for the Atari. <laughs> okay, now let's get on to something a little more interesting. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. Can people tell what this is? I guess you probably can. Um, this is a 1982 game. No title screen. Zip. Yeah. Oh, that's a bomb. not obvious. This is the um, oh, crap. 1982 Spider-Man game. And this is the very first Marvel game and the very first appearance of Spider-Man in a video game. So there you go. I'm not very good at this one. Goblin. I don't really know what else to do here. That's the problem. Yep. Well, I mean, look at me. I'm red and blue. You see the red and blue, right? And I'm shooting my web web stuff. I mean, allegedly it's web stuff. You know, I mean, it's more like a couple of squares, but. to do here with this like what what is my goal here bionic tongue yeah and that's a green goblin you can probably recognize the goblin um jet thing I really don't know what I'm trying to do here Yeah, I can climb to the top, but then I, just, then I just fall. I've beaten this first level before, I just don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Oh, uh, Spider-Man's not... You know, Spider-Man not being very good at... What? Did I run out of time? I can't use my web anymore. I died, I guess. I guess there's a time limit, too. Or a web fluid counter? Maybe that's what, maybe that's what one of these meters is. Oh, it could be washing windows. That makes some sense. And by the way, this is a straight. Uh, this is licensed from the comics. 
This is not from any of the shows or anything, because there's a couple of cartoons, you know, before this came out. There's the Super Friends and Spider-Man, whatever that was. With Dazzler, I think, and the other guy. Oh, crap. Whoa. Well, the game crashed. That's fun. What's going on here? Hmm. Uh oh. There it goes. Spider crash, spider crash. Does whatever you can with his spider ash? I don't know. I got nothing. Yep. Zip. Oh, you can rest. You can grab people? I guess. Can I grab a bomb? Do I? I don't want to grab a bomb. Okay. to grab that square. Okay. Apparently. And I don't want to grab people because then I die. Okay. I guess those are not people. They're obstacles? Give me pixelated photos of Spider-Man. Yeah. it's going to just be Green Goblin again because multiple bosses for 1982 pretty advanced <laughs> probably more than you could hope for yeah just Green Goblin again oh. yeah I mean you know, there are worse games than this let's put it that way It's very simple, but you know. I understand what I'm trying to do now, and I'm just not very good at it. Oh wow, you've got much web fluid. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe makes every movie he's in better. One of those guys. I think Tobey Maguire was a pretty good um, Peter Parker, but I don't think he was a very good Spider-Man. That makes sense. That might be the script's fault more than his, but... Yep. Plock. If I could be two levels. Oh, crap. Maybe that's too much to hope for. Oh yeah, there's a little mirror that's running down, I get it. Yeah, I just I'm not I'm not so good at this. I'll try, boo you, jeez. Ugh. Really dead. <laughs> Let's see what the options are in this game. Uh, are there any? Two, three, four. I like. I want the ability to be pink. Let's see how this goes. It's web gravy, that's what it is. We'll go with that. Oh, look, Green Goblin's way lower. Pass that bad guy. Yeah. 
Wow, you don't get much time on this level 5, do you? I'm, I'm almost dead already. Jeez. fast. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, it's level 5. I guess these are difficulty levels, because this is really hard. <laughs> Jew, eh? Oh, hi, Morph, by the way. I didn't see you come in. Sorry. Ah. Ah. Spider Man is sixty four, I think. I believe he's 64. He's after the Fantastic Four, which is like 62. Alright, well. On that note. Yes, that's pretty bad. Move on to another another one just for Boo You. Well, not just for Boo You, it was for other people too. This card will go in. Yeah, Spire Reverse is good. <laughs> See, just for you. Yep. This is the Superman game, which, by the way, uh, for a little bit of information, this came out in 79. It is the first more than single screen action adventure game ever made, apparently, which is pretty interesting. Oh, they stole the bridge. Oh no, I gotta go get the bridge. Uh, and this is 79, and this is based on the comic, not the movie, which you would assume because it came out a year after the uh, Christopher Reeves movie, but no, this is in fact licensed from the comic. Um, and if you remember last time I streamed, yeah, back when Clark wore the hat, yeah, a long time ago, uh, I streamed Adventure before, this is actually based on the engine for that, but this came out first. So some of the same underlying code. Which kind of makes sense when you see how this game plays, where you have to grab objects to construct, like, a bridge. See, I grab this bridge piece. And then I have to take it. How do I get back? I have to go to the bridge now. How do I do this? I can't fly now. By the way, if you didn't catch out, this is Lois Lane, and I lose the ability to fly, but if she kisses me, I get it back. She's, she's like a, she's basically a power-up, a living power-up. See, I lost my ability. There's Lois Lane. Give. Yay! Right. I don't really know what I'm doing. That's probably obvious. But I need to grab those weird piece things and bring them back to the door. I think that's what I'm talking about. How do I do that? Um. Ah. So then the helicopter comes and takes it back. Yeah. I think back in the Clark. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Lex Luthor, I guess? The thing I really don't understand is how do I get back to the bridge? I don't get it. Let's drop Lois Lane. 
Go away, Lois Lane. That's kryptonite, by the way, that, that that falling meteorite thing. That's meant to be kryptonite. Gotta use your imagination. Uh, yeah. Let's see, you can pick up the bad guys and put them in jail, I think? Yeah, jail. Yeah, there we go. See, I threw them in jail. Great. No, put that bad. Let's grab this guy, though. We're gonna put him in jail. Yeah. No kryptonite. Kryptonite bad. We get back here, this bad guy. Gotcha. Yes, the Atari is not known for its dulcet tones. Let's put it that way. I caught what I think is Lex Luthor. I think this is meant to be Lex Luthor. Well, you know, Superman is basically, I mean, isn't Superman, like, he's above the law, let's, let's be real here. See, this is my biggest problem with this game, is the navigation makes no sense to me. Like, I can just go up forever? Like, where, why is there ground when I go up? Where am I, what? That's a good point about that. Don't want any of this. Game's kind of trippy, right? There. I put what I think is Lex Luthor in jail. Great. Well, let's see. Find bridge parts, though. Apparently, no. I cannot. I don't think Lois can kiss that guys. Can I just blow up the helicopter? That'd be great. My only question is, so how do I get back to the bridge now? That, well, there it is. What? How? That was the bridge thing. Um, I don't, there it is, so now what? How is it I can leave the screen, come back the same way, and end up in a different location? How is that possible? Am I crossing, ah. Um. I really don't understand what I'm doing. Is that what I'm supposed to do? No. Get off of me. Go. Ah. Yeah, I am basically in an acid trip. And just think, this is Superman's first appearance in the video game. Oh, and this game, quite positively received at the time. People were like, oh, this game's revolutionary. It's brilliant. And, like, I get it with Adventure and some other games, but this one, I, yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've played this a couple times, but I never figure out really what I'm doing. I know you're supposed to, like, pull crap to the bridge, but it doesn't seem to work right, and the navigation makes no sense, and it's completely incoherent. I can grab a helicopter, though. That, that's cool. Can I put the helicopter in jail? That's my question. <laughs> Superman does have a lot worse games than Batman. Superman, Superman has 
one good game I know of, which is um, the Death Return Superman for Super Nintendo. That's actually a decent game. It's a brawler. So I can't... I cannot put the helicopter in prison, unfortunately. I have played Super Nintendo 64, but I do not own it. I should probably get it one of these days. It's not a very expensive game, but I don't have it right now. Oh yeah, Injustice is kind of fun. That's a DC generic game, though. That's a Superman specific game. But alright. Um, I suppose I'm going to stop here and switch games, because this game will give you a migraine and hurt your brain. Yeah, I've seen a speedrun of it. Um, I did want to briefly show one thing, though. Uh, well, we can wait. I can wait till the end, I guess. All right. Look at this. This is Galaxian, a port of the '79 arcade game, which probably better know this for its sequel, Galaga, which was much more successful. But Gal Galaxian's actually a pretty good um, Space Invaders knockoff. And the Atari port? Really good, actually. This is a really good port. I mean, you know, it's, it's very similar to Space Invaders with more aggressive enemies, basically. Oh. Aliens. I'm trying to blow up my ship. There. I did it. <laughs> that's 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 a pretty that that's quite quite a pun there, Bobby. Um I can go for a port right now. I like port. That sounds good. I like those sweet ones like that. Yep. Oh. It moves so fast, though. Oof. Oof. Oof, Bobby. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> Ow. Oh, well, you, 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 li you live and learn, Queso. <laughs> uh. Oh, I forgot one thing about Superman. Um, what are the other options in this one? Are there any? There are no other options. Oh, you can change the number of starting levels or lives? This is a difficulty switch? I don't know what I changed. Oh yeah, this is higher difficulty. Okay, there's more aliens attacking. Cool. Huge. Yes. Ah. Oof. Boom. Uh, oh. Let's see if I can beat one wave at this higher difficulty at least. Oof. 
Ugh, maybe not. Yeah, it's a lot harder. There we go. I have... Um... I actually don't know exactly how many target games I have. I'd have to double check. Over a hundred. Last I looked. I'll tell you after I die. How about that? <laughs> uh, let's see. I have a list, so I can actually can tell. Um... I have 142 Atari 2600 games, and 6 Atari 7800 games, and 6 Jaguar games, and 9 Jaguar CD games. So there you go. I'm actually planning to put up um, some kind of spreadsheet of all of my games, and sh I can see which ones have been streamed and which ones haven't. And then people can be like, you should stream that one! And I can be like, sure! Yeah, there's, there's like... 500 Atari 2600 games, something like that, but it's like 200 of them are way more common than all the rest. And I, I don't have any that are really rare. I only have a couple that are like uncommon, like $20-ish games. Uh, Alright, what else we got? Oh, before I forget... So this is, you know, Superman, right? Alright, let me get past the opening part again. Um, that Solaris game I, I stream, that's uncommon. Um, what else is there? Uh, Roadrunner is somewhat uncommon. Roadrunner came out in 89, so it's like when the, the Genesis was out, it's an Atari game, so that's, that's uncommon. Alright. My favorite thing about my Jaguar CD. <laughs> um... The light show you get when you play music CDs. This is Superman, but the reason I was showing this... Uh, yeah, Roadrunner is on the NES, the Commodore 64, um, the Master System, the Atari 2600. It's on a million things. Uh, yeah, watch this. Uh, isn't that select? Yeah. Look, can you see this? Oh, wait. Crap. Look, I hit select. That pauses the game. That might not seem like much. As far as I know, this is the game that invented pause, I think. Uh, this is the oldest game by far I've seen that lets you pause. This is 79, right? 79? Yeah, 79, and you can pause it. I think it's the first game with pause. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, well, there you go. Um... Let's try this one. This is Frontline. This is 82? 84. 80, it's 84. The arcade original is 82. Yep, that's exactly right. Superman has like every super ability ever. I mean, he's Superman. Uh, hmm. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Am I shooting? I can't honestly tell. Wow, this has scrolling. This is some advanced stuff for the Atari. <laughs> yep, like the new show. This is a port of the new show. Or I mean, this is an adaptation. Sure. This is actually, by the way, one of the first uh, ground combat games and one of the first games to have grenades, although I don't think they're in the Atari version, only in the arcade. But if you know, like, um, Ikari Warriors, that this is the ancestor of Ikari Warriors, basically, in games like that. What is this blue thing here? Is that, is that a grenade? I guess that was a good one. Oh, I got shot and I died by a wheel? <laughs> I guess? Yeah, musket shots, that makes sense. It could be anything with this game, I mean, really. One of the weirdest things about Atari games is a lot of times when you shoot diagonal, they're not at, um... 
the nine orthogonal directions or whatever you call them. They're at like a weird angle always. I don't know why that is. I guess because of the resolution of the Atari. Um, this is called Frontline, and based on the imagery, I'm assuming this is either Korea or World War II. It's a little hard to tell from the picture, but it's a Japanese game, and they don't care about, especially in this era. There's like, eh, it's a war, there's a jungle setting, whatever. That's all you get. <laughs> You're a war, kill all the guys who aren't you, who are a different color than you. Yeah, I am wearing blue, so I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, you see, you automatically throw grenades when you're fighting the cannons. That's interesting. A wiener wheel? Yeah, basically, right? I don't know what else it could be. Commando is also, which I streamed a while ago, the predecessor to Bionic Commando, clearly owes a debt to a game like this. A wiener wheel, a wheel of wieners, is that what that would be? Ugh, well, I killed him too. Oh, well, last life? Oh, I guess I'm starting here again. Premie to, yeah, this is this is 84, so well before then. Oh, I made it. Can I beat the level? Eh. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, um, to give you some idea of how, uh, it, not valuable Atari games are. Like, two or three years ago, I bought a box of an unknown number of Atari games, and their guy was like 500 plus. And I think I was the only bidder, and I got it for like $200 shipped. Something like that. 200 something dollars shipped. And it must have weighed 60, 50, 50 pounds. I don't know. It was really heavy, the box. It had to have cost him like. 50 bucks to ship it and uh it had over 500 games in it <laughs> a lot of duplicates of course and a few of my semi-valuable games and it also had a te television coleco vision atari 5200 7800 games just lots of and mostly atari 2600 games and i actually sold a few of them to recoup some of the cost but it's like atari games are a lot of them are worth less than a dollar it was fun going through them, but because of that, I have like 40 copies of Combat. <laughs> For some, and I'm like, what do I do with these? They're worth like 10 cents. Like, they're just in a box now. I think I um, I didn't break even on the box, but I ended up after selling the the duplicates that I didn't that I already had and stuff. I think I ended up paying like under 100 bucks for it. Pretty cool. But yeah, and it was clearly a store liquidating old inventory they could just not sell, like just Atari stuff. Combat armor. <laughs> That's a thought. So I guess I beat that level, and it seems to be basically the same thing again. This place is just fine, though. This isn't bad. It's really weird how the enemies can never scroll off the screen. Does this hurt me? Oh! Whoa, that's a tank! I feel stupid now. It's an upgrade. Yeah, I mean... I, I will say that there's some fun to be had with Atari, especially the multiplayer games. A lot of them are actually hold up pretty well. I'm in a tank, look at this. This is awesome! I'm, I have my own wiener wheel. <laughs> oh, it blew up. And you die when you're in the tank. You don't, like, pop out. A pin shooting? Yeah. Like, if you ever get around to it, um, combat two-player is really fun, and Warlords is four-player. It's great four-player. I played that with my niece and nephew and my brother-in-law when they were here. It was actually really fun until... Um, the controller's kind of broke, which 
That's the downside of old systems like this. Especially the Atari. The Atari controllers, man, they are they seem really unreliable. I don't I don't know what the deal is. They're cheap, but they're not reliable. I guess you get what you pay for. We know a good shooting on Uh yeah. I wanna get that tank one more time. That's that's my goal here. I just want a tank. I want a wiener wheel tank, a wiener tank. There we go. Yeah. Tank. Yeah. I guess it's a tank. Wiener, wiener wheel is probably more accurate, right? There seems to be no real advantage to it over being on foot, though. You can't take any extra hits. I guess your bullets are a little faster, and that's it. Ugh. Uh, we can't. My, my chat bot broke for some reason that I was not able to figure out. Oh, this time the tank just... I didn't die, alright. Please do, Bobby, or boo you. That was boo you. Yeah, boo you. That was a good quote. Oh, you do go faster as a tank, so that's cool. Turbo tank. Man, this is totally, yeah, like uh, Kari Warriors and lots of games took this whole tank thing from this game. That's kind of cool. It's a decent enough, decent enough game. It's fine. Probably the arcade versions uh, probably plays better, but you know. Zoom. I can only kill it as a man, not as a tank. Bonus! 1,000 points. Okay, I'm starting over, I think. Alright, well, that's enough of Frontline. <sighs> yeah. Alright. Okay, oh, that game's not working. Cool. All right. This is this is um, dark crystal. Wait, yeah. dark cavern. Excuse me, not dark crystal. Is that a gun? Huh. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yep, I have a gun. I have limited ammo. Huh. Am I trying to escape? What do I do here? What are these bizarre shapes? This controls like Pac-Man where you have a gun, by the way, which is interesting. There doesn't seem to be any goal, as far as I can tell. Purely a high score thing, maybe? What 
am I doing here? No. Well, gotta get that ammo. Okay. To do. Oh, I died. Okay. Yeah, it's not not clear. Is it? I don't get it. All I'll say is I don't get it. There doesn't seem to be anything to do. And I feel like this is not difficult enough. To be meaningful? Maybe I don't understand the game, that's always possible. Can I go down? I cannot go down. Okay. Well, let's see what the, alt the variants are. Are there any? And there are no variants. Well, that was um, Dark Cavern. Great. Which, by the way, was apparently owned by Brandy, Dwayne, Jimmy... And Drelf? It's a signed cartridge. Oh, yeah, a lot of um, Atari games. Here, I'll, let me show you if this one has it. This is Crystal Castle. A lot of Atari games, there's a, um, yeah, there's a select button on the system. If you hit it, it'll switch between like modes. And a lot of times they're variations of the gameplay. Like um, combat's a tank game and the variants uh, add or take away walls or make the bullets ricochet or you're invisible or you're flying a plane instead of a tank, things like that. In Tari, I don't have a Kari Game Genie, unfortunately. <laughs> Infinity Wiggly's cheat sounds good though. So yeah, I can hit the select button here and change the level. But we'll start at one. This is Crystal Castles, where I'm playing a bear. And I don't know what I'm doing. Do I go up? Um, do I get these? Are these bad or good? They're bad. Okay. So what do I want to do then? What am I, what is the goal? Uh, I have played Custer's Revenge and Beat 'em and Eat 'em. I don't own them though. I don't know what the goal here is. This is confusing me a little bit. Yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> so now what? Do I jump on them? Well that is that thing bad or good? What? No idea what I'm doing here. I can run around in circles. I actually looked into buying one of the Atari porn games because they kind of amuse me, and they're not—they're expensive, but they're not like crazy expensive. They're like um, uh, some of them are under a hundred dollars. I last I looked, 
but they're so expensive for uh the Atari porn games have full nudity but it might as well be no nudity at all because the graphics are Atari <laughs> The, the, and there's also Nintendo uh, porno games, too, and those are just softcore. And they're really expensive. They're like a thousand bucks. Okay, well, I have no idea what I'm doing, so let's, let's just see what level two does, if anything. At least it'll look different. Well, I got a hat. That seems like a good sign. What did that do? By the way, there are actually five enemies on screen, but on the stream, not all of them are visible because of the way I'm streaming, so sorry about that. <laughs> Why can't I go up that? I feel like I should be able to. That seems like a ladder, right? I feel like I should be able to climb these. These like, look like ladders, but I can't. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Okay. This is probably another game where I really need the instruction manual, but I don't have it. So, here we are. Alright, well, that was the 1984 Atari game, Crystal Castles. They do look like Minecraft creepers, that's true. Uh, here we go, this is another real early one. Let's see if this will work. This is Flag Capture. This came out in 78. This is part of the second series of Atari games. Well, this, this is one of some of the first, like, 30 or 40 games. Ooh. Six. Six. Boom. Oh, I think this is two-player only, looks like. Is that right? Let's see. What? This might be two-player only. I think the game froze. No, it didn't freeze. Let's try this again. But five. Five. Four. Three, two, three, three, boom, okay. I found the flag! By the way, if you can't tell, this is a two-player simultaneous game, and it's kind of like Minesweeper. You hit the button and it gives you a clue to where you're supposed to go. And ordinarily, I would be playing against a, a, a computer, or I mean a human opponent. So then you blow up, and it means I didn't get the flag. But then you go real quick back. Um, boom, okay. Ugh. And somehow the controls are bad, by the way. understand how they managed to make bad controls in a game where you're just moving on a grid, but they did. Yes, it's basically a two-player simultaneous Minesweeper. That's basically what it is. Or two-player Stratego simultaneous, I guess, maybe you could say. Found it! It'd probably be okay two-player for, like, you know, play with a little kid. Be fine. But since it's two-player only, I don't think I can play it for any longer. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, this is Firefighter from 1982. Oh, I just put out the fire, looks like. Can I, how does this work? Put that fire out. Put that fire out. Unsweeper, yeah, that's right. Do I spray people, or do I not spray people? What? I can change the angle of the ladder. Oh, I see. Cool. Neat. 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 So, how do I get the guy to go over there? Go on. Go. Go? Go? Building's not on fire, dude. You can you can just leave. You don't believe me? Yeah, it does look a little bit like Wreck It Ralph. Like Fix It Felix. What do I do now? I don't I don't get it. Is that it? Can I just leave? Oh, okay. Now what? Come on, buddy, let's go. I did it. I put out the fire, it's fine. There we go. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Put it out. Great. Oh, much better that time. This is firefighter. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess I take on the people probably die, right? Yeah. Put that fire out. Put this fire out. And put that fire out. Yeah, I think if the firefighters played this, it would save a lot of lives. I, I mean, I think we can all agree with that. Yeah, when there's just one person and there's two fires in an entire, like, 12-story building, it does make you kind of suspicious of that one guy, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Yeah, fires... Oh, one more fire. So there's no time limit, and it's really easy. So... I don't know about this game, I guess. I can try a different mode. Oh, look at this. Let's go straight up to level nine. It's going to be super hard, I bet. Why is a, th a sh smaller building harder? A good one. An 
HD. There probably is an HD remake of this. Why not? Okay, well, that's Firefighter. That's pretty boring, I can't lie. And can I even, can you even lose? Can you lose? Let's just see. If I just do nothing, does the fire kill him? Now we watch it burn. Uh, looks like the fire's spreading. Guys on the roof. <laughs> we just want to watch the world burn. Burn. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. You like that water? Sorry, I don't know how to spray it anywhere else though. Boy. You really have to... Can you lose? Yeah, it looks like you can't lose. Okay. So this game kind of stinks. This game's just a white screen. This game also doesn't want to work. Yeah, it works. How do I... Oh, there we go. All the guys. Go away, commandos. Go away, little X commando guys. Uh oh. Oh no, my cities! begs for a track uh, a trackball by the way because the d-pad is not precise enough. or rather a joystick is not precise enough because I'm using an Atari stick yeah sometimes they do some stuff with color in Atari games that you're like oh that's kind of nice you know get my butt kicked here I am in trouble here. My bullets just went through that guy. Grr. Ah. Oh. Ah. Shoot. Yeah. They're all the preludes of Final Royale. Yeah, pretty much. Oh no! They blo they're blowing me up! The commandos got me. Okay, well, that was Commando Raid. <laughs> Let's see, are there other options? Let's just see. Nope, no options for this one. This game is, um, 
82, and there was another, uh, this is actually an Atari original, I don't think it's a port. Okay, now we're going to come to what I believe is going to be my last game of the evening, I think. Yeah, that's fair, Bobby. <sighs> oh, well, yeah. Oh, this is another one of my uncommon Atari games, by the way. It'll work. Oh, yeah. Beautiful flashing lights. So Superman was one of the very first licensed games, but this is one of the first, not the first, but this is another one of the earliest movie licensed games, actually. This is uh, Porky's from 1983. Uh, yeah, Porky's, like the Kim Cattrall film. And I'm playing Pee Wee from the film, if you know the character, uh, who is trying to destroy Porky's. If you're not familiar, Porky's is um, a 1981 um, R-rated teen sex comedy from the director of A Christmas Story and Black Christmas. Uh, and Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things and Baby Geniuses, Bob Clark. Very weird career. And this is one of his first big hits. Uh, it's quite a movie. I don't know what this has to do with the movie exactly because I have not seen it in a long ass time. suck at this game, by the way. Frogger scene than Porky's. <laughs> uh, you know, if this game had the peephole scene, that would be pretty amazing, but I don't believe it does. <laughs> They do have the shower scene, though. Look, see? Lady in the shower. Oh. Crap, I fell again. Ugh. Back to the lady in the shower. How do I climb? Why can't I climb up? How can she cry? What? Ugh. She's naked, and I can't go up. It won't let me. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Clearly something. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I bet they do. Do 
the shower head is made out of her hair, clearly. I really don't know what I'm doing. That's Porky, by the way, with the hat to my right. I think that's Porky. Because that's what he has. He has a hat like that, if I'm remembering the movie right. I really don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I need to get go get Porky here. Let's, no. Porky, I can't get. Nope. Alright. Oh, I see. The ladder just sucks. The climbing is really hard to do. Ugh. Um, well, a key plot point in, in Porky's is, is the boys in it spying on the girls in the shower. Pushed it down there, and now it's the time to go. Oh crap! All right. Yep, yep. Very sexy, right? So I want to knock that rope down. I learned that. I think, I think that's a rope. Push it down. Now we go up. She can cross the, the bat. That's not fair. She cheats. Could be a rope. Pushing rope. I am pushing rope. God, the climbing is so bad. The hit detection for it's awful. Okay, we're back up to the road, I guess. Now I play Frogger. Oh crap. Oh my god. Did I try this whole thing over again? Oh god. But there's a different thing up here now. What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay. I have no idea what any of this means. Oh. Ugh. Brutal. I escaped the new house. Ugh. You have to be like pixel perfect for the ladder. Now it's a bomb, so I guess I'm progressing, even though it seems like I'm just doing the same things over and over again. Okay. 
Okay. Can I lose? That's the other question I have. No longer sexy? I'm very sorry. If I knew how to make it sexier for you, I would. Yeah, you see, this, this game is, you know, very helpful. Ugh. I do, I do want to see what happens if I, if I finish this. I assume something happens. Push the wrench and dodge cars, and yes. Oh, I see. Does each item freeze another section of this track? Ooh, whoa. How do I go up, though? Oh my god. Now I'm back here, and there's a hat. Okay. What does the hat have to do with anything? Ugh. I guess it makes these lanes fat slower or something? Oh. Oh my god. And I can't avoid him, it's impossible. Alright, alright. I have no idea what any of this has to do with anything. I don't I don't even know what that is. Is that a pig? What is that? Seriously, what is that? Whatever it is, I pushed it into the pit, so... One more time. Ugh. This is brutal. It's all trial and error, too. That's like an invisible maze, that last section, if that's not clear. There's, like, ladders I have to push. Invisible ladders I can climb, but if I go to the wrong place, it's um, I just get, get, I fall down and get caught by the guy. So it's pure trial and error. Not there. See? Just total guesses. There's like invisible gaps. I'm reaching the end here, to be honest. It's not 
Oh, oh my god. See, that's a ladder right there. Ugh. Okay, well that's Porky's. I think I'm I'm done for here. <laughs> uh, so that yeah, that's Porky's. It's amazing, right? Um, but I did want to show something kind of funny. Where is it? Yeah, I appreciate it. So I just, before I go, and by the way, thanks everyone for coming to the stream and watching some Atari games. I hope that was edifying or whatever. I did want to show, for one thing, one of the reasons I'm having trouble with Commando Raid, getting that to work. Look at this cartridge. I just, what happened? Like, <laughs> who did this? It is like seriously smashed. I don't, um, I don't know how they managed this, but they did. But it still works, so there you go. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming by, Queso. A porky sat on it, there you go. Also, I think it's funny that this is the Superman cartridge. Like, look at that label. It's the most boring label you've ever seen in your life. I. <laughs> um, and finally, just uh, from, this is also a little bit, here's my Spider-Man label. Isn't that amazing? I, I know everyone is probably impressed by my artistic abilities there. Uh, all right, because that's how it came. It didn't even have a label when I got it. Um, yeah, well, that's, that's right. But on the plus side, you do get, oh, I do like uh, Firefighter though. That's, that's, look at that fire truck. It's awesome, right? And uh, of course, E.T., it's beautiful. And you know that nice, a lot of the Atari games have this beautiful art like this. Or Berserk's art like this. They actually have some pretty nice stuff. Oh, I got a lot of glare on that firefighter one, you know. Art, that's right. And of course, Crystal Castles. I do like the old Atari art. They have some some of them are really good art because they couldn't have good graphics. They went with good art on the labels. Alright, well, thank you all for watching. I hope that was interesting at least. Uh Mr. Beard streams Wednesdays and Thursdays at 8 if you want to see that. Uh, Bobby on Sundays. And I'm Mondays at 8. Thank you all for watching. Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the poster gets crooked because it falls down and I put it back up. And then it gets crooked again and I put it back up. So. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys liked it. Uh, I will do more Atari again sometime, but it's... It's a little hard to keep that going because I'm going to run out of games and I and you don't want to do them too many times because they get repetitive real fast. All right. Uh, good night, everyone.